Hey everybody, this is Daniel from Catfish Sumo, and right now we're going to go through the anatomy of a hook. Because what we're seeing online is a lot of you guys have questions about what hooks you should use, what applications they should be used in, what size, what style. But the thing is, there's a lot of confusion and a lot of misinformation about what the names of the different styles are. And so people are asking questions um, like, should I use an octopus or should I use a circle hook? The thing is, those are two very different terms. It would be like saying, hey, I'm thinking about getting a new car. Um, should I get one that is an automatic or should I get one with windshield wipers? Okay, so those are two totally different feature sets, right? You can have both, you can have neither, you can have one or the other. And so that's kind of what we're seeing online. So we're gonna go through the anatomy of a hook real quick. I'm gonna show you some of the options that are most common for each of the different features and the different areas of the hook. And I'm gonna show you some examples right here. So let's get started. So the first thing, starting from the top of the hook, is the eye style, all right? And there's basically two styles that are used. Sometimes in saltwater you see one that's flat. We're not gonna talk about that one. But there's two basic styles for the eye, all right? That's this point right on top where the um, line attaches. So there's either an octopus or there's a straight eye. The thing is, here's an example of an octopus. I'm gonna show you this right up close and hope it fo focuses. The octopus eye is this one that is tilted out slightly, all right? So usually that's designed so that you can snell, which means the line is wrapping around the actual shank of the hook, and that's the knot right there. So you can snell your hook, so your line's going to drop straight down through that eye, that's why it's tilted backwards, then you're going to snell onto the shank of the hook, alright? So that is an octopus eye, or there's a straight eye, which looks like this up top, which is just coming straight up, straight up the shank, and um, the eye is directly straight there, all right? So this is probably one of the most common terms that gets mixed up, is this octopus word. The word octopus refers to whether or not that eye is tilted backwards or not, okay? So the next term let's talk about is related to the shank. So the shank is this portion of the hook coming straight down off of the eye, and the two most common styles are either a straight shank or an offset shank. And here's an example. This is a, oh actually these are both offset. I lied. All right, so here, um, here's what an offset shank looks like, all right? Can you see, let me see if I can get it straight for the camera. Can you see how the shank comes down, but then the actual point is tilted out to the side a little bit? During the hook making process, what happens is the hook is starting straight and then there a little bit of torque is given to make sure that that, point's a, that point is a little bit offset from the shank of the hook, all right? So here is our heavyweight, this might be a little bit easier to see on camera, this one's a little bit thicker. So in this example you can see how that shank is offset a little bit from the tip of the hook, alright? So the words related to the shank are either a straight shank or an offset shank, meaning either the hook, when you look at it from the side, is completely flat, or the point um, is just a little bit offset of the shank, alright? Now the degree of the offset matters a whole lot. Uh, we've done a ton of research and studied a whole lot about what the shank, uh, what the offset from the shank actually does um, in terms of either helping hook up, hurting hook up, um, helping fish stay alive, hurting fish um, uh, during the catch process and making sure that they, um, or, or we really want to make sure that they stay healthy and can get released, all right? So this is a really important thing to pay attention to and those are the two words related to the shank, all right? The next thing let's talk about is the barb. Um, so there's either barbed, barbless, or bait holder hooks, okay? So for example, on this hook right here, you can see that this has a barb right here, right underneath the tip, all right? So the barb, you probably all know, basically just helps make sure that once this punches through the fish's lip, then they can't get off as easy, all right? It also helps your bait not swing off the end. And then that's where there's sometimes barbs facing the other direction, down the back or the front of the shank. And that helps bait stay in place right here. Um, because if it's able to swing up and around if you're uh, using really big hooks, um, then sometimes the bait can get, can get uh, in the way. So that's where you're looking for either a barbed or barbless hook. Sometimes, depending on where you're fishing, a lot of offshore stuff, or depending on the season, sometimes um, a state fishery is required to use a barbless hook, and um, then you can look for options that include a bait holder barbs or not. All right? The last term let's look at is the tip, and that is exactly what it means. This is the actual tip of the hook right here, all right? There's a couple styles to pay attention to. Um, so the circle is the most common in catfishing, all right? So usually, you know, if you remember back to like bluegill fishing and all that kind of stuff, there would be just a straight J hook, okay? J is exactly that. 
the shank comes down, it turns, and the point goes straight back up. Um, a lot of guys are moving a lot away from that, especially in the trophy catfishing world, because we really want to pay attention to helping make sure that you don't gut hook a fish and we can um, just catch them right in the lip or the corner of the jaw and then be able to release them um, with a lot less damage or a lot less uh, injury on the inside, all right? So that's why a lot of guys are moving away from a straight J um, is because that can easily get swallowed and then set down in the belly. So the circle hook is what most catfishermen are using these days, especially for trophy catfish. And all that means is that rather than the tip going straight, let me get on the background, <laughs> Rather than it going straight back up, it's tilted in. And the angle of this tip matters a lot. So uh, the cheap hooks that a lot of times you find from China, um, this will be all kinds of crazy directions or not pointing the right way or pointing down or something like that. So make sure if you're going to start using an, um, a circle hook, that's what this refers to, is that this point is now pointing back into the shank, um, that you find one that has pretty consistent tips on it, okay? So the circle just refers to that. And, so the shank comes down, comes around, and the point goes right back towards the hook. That means that when the fish hits it like this, it can slide around inside their stomach to the point that it reaches the outside of their mouth. And then that's when your line is going to wrap around and it's going to set right in their lip or in their jaw. Um, so that's why a lot of guys are starting to use a circle hook instead. Um, and then the last style is a kale, which is um, referring mostly to this shape right here. All right, so you can see the difference of these two hooks. Let me hold them up close for you. So this is the Catfish Sumo Sweeper hook. It is a tail style tip. And what that means is that this, um, this bow right here, this bend has been elongated a little bit so that you have a little bit more room for bait to swing around without it actually uh, fouling up on the top of your hook. All right, so those are the terms related to the anatomy of the hook. Now let's go through, and you can understand how there, um, there can be one of these terms for every style of hook, okay? So there would be a term referring to the eye, the shank, the barb, and the tip. So for example, here is the Catfish Sumo Heavyweight um, Octopus Circle Hooks. So this is an octopus eye. It has an offset shank. Remember the tip is pointing to the side. It is barbed, because there's a barb right down here underneath the tip and it is a circle style tip. So the circle is pointing right back in towards the shank, all right? So one of these terms from each category refers to all of the elements of a hook. So now you can use that information when you start asking people what kind of hook should you use, should you start using something else, what you're really asking is which of these elements, I need one element for every single category. So this is why it's confusing when people start arguing online and they say, oh no, you should not use an octopus hook, you should use a circle hook. Well, those are two different words. One refers to the eye, one refers to the tip, all right? So it's important to understand the terms so that we can intelligently discuss stuff online and we don't end up arguing about two things that are totally different, like saying, oh, is a cheeseburger better warm or is it better with lettuce? Well, that's kind of what you're doing here. If you're talking about a cheeseburger being warm or having lettuce, those are two totally different things. You can have both, you can have neither, um, you can have one or the other, all right? So hopefully this was helpful. I hope that as you go out and you discuss and you decide on the kinds of hooks, now you're armed with the right information, and now you can intelligently decide within each of these categories, should I go straight or octopus eye? Should I go with an offset or a straight shank? Should I go with a bait holder, a barbless, or a barbed um, hook? Should I use a circle tip, a J tip, or a kale tip? All right, so thanks you guys for watching. Now you can go out and use this information. You can show some people up. You can tell them why they're wrong, and now you can discuss it intelligently. Thanks, guys.